welcome back to Sled Ed 24-7. You know, last week we thought we were going to get to see Chris's final development from novice snowmobiler to snowmobile racer. Uh, but our producers decided not to show it. Even I didn't know about it. By the way, I'm still upset about that, guys. Uh, this week, we finally get to find out whether or not Chris might one day have a future making his living in the pits at a big-time snowmobile race. Previously on Sledhead 24-7. This weekend, we're in Brainerd, Minnesota for our final MSDRS race of the season. And we invited Chris up to drag race with us. And we're going to take him from scratch and make him a drag racer. He actually entered me in the Pro Stock 700 class race. This is so funny. Everyone is betting on Chris because they think it's a TV show and it's staged and we're going to let him win. <laughs> yeah, right. One of the last things we did on Saturday was had a practice run with Misha and I. Before I knew it, she had passed me. The race was over and everyone's laughing and excited for Misha, so that gave me a little bit of uh, something to work for on Sunday. <laughs> that was a good drag race, though. This is what I've been getting ready for since day one, so there's a lot on the line. I was pretty nervous doing this race with everyone watching on TV, Misha being there at the race and everyone at the race watching. Don't let us down, Chris. Our eyes are on you. <laughs> I actually got to get into a few more practice runs before the actual race, which was nice to get, the, get a few of those nerves out of the way and, and get prepared for the race. Well, if we can get him a little quicker off the three, I think uh, he's got a pretty good chance. The sled is fast enough to win, but uh, he's got to get that driver fast now. How flippin' exciting is this? Sitting there on the starting line on Sunday, I was feeling so many nerves I can't even explain. Getting nervous yet? Yeah, sure. <laughs> when I was sitting up the line, all I was thinking about is the tree. He'll, he's gonna point at you, and then when you're, you just nod. All right. And he probably won't look at you very long, a couple okay. seconds and then. But... Once the race got started, I had no clue where, where the rest of the opponents were run, told me to concentrate, look straight ahead, just worry about my race, worry about going as fast as I could. He did a really, really good job. He took third place. <laughs> He didn't finish last. That's so flippin' awesome. I'm so happy right now. I didn't know if I had, that I had taken third. I was just going as fast as I could. You got third! Nice! Yeah, <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was awesome. I was really surprised that I, I had placed third, and I uh, was really excited. The team seemed to be excited. We wanted Chris to do really well. Uh, I waited at the line as long as I could. If I waited any longer, I would have gotten beat myself, so. I don't know who got fourth, but uh, it felt kind of bad since um, this is my first race and he'd, he'd been racing a lot before, but it felt good to take a podium spot. I got some competition, finally. We had a blast up here with Chris here, teaching him how to drag race and, and just to see the gleam in his eye when he come back and he didn't get last place. He was just pumped. It was, uh, it made the whole weekend for us. I'd really recommend this to anyone that's never snowmobiled before, someone similar in my position where I started at the beginning of the season. It's a great rush, it's a feeling I've never felt before. If, if I can do it, I'm sure anyone else could, so I'd highly recommend uh, giving it a shot. <laughs> my little blueberry did it, he's all grown up. So there you have it, Chris finishes third out of Four drivers, all right, maybe not great, but it is a podium spot. And April Moritz, uh, you trained Chris all year. What did you think of his performance? I was really proud of him, actually. I thought that was awesome that he even got in the top three. That's pretty cool. Were you surprised? Very surprised. I feel sorry for whoever came behind him, actually. <laughs> a final race of the 06 season, you sad to see it go? Not really, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to move on to other things. Um, have some injuries that I need to heal up, so I'm ready to move on. That's for sure. All right, well, good luck today. We're going to take a time out. Plenty more on Sled 24 7 right after this. This is Cutthroat, serious competition because the winner will take home ten to $20,000 cash, as well as, I don't know, something with their sleds. I forget what it was. <laughs>